I think there's a way with art to find a self-expression. So if there's a way to create work that that artist or you are able to have a, a self-expression or a self-style, that's what I'm kind of most interested in. So I would think that art is you expressing yourself, and what interests you or what um, you enjoy or what you like to do. I've been very fortunate that I have numerous styles. And from those numerous styles, it's not that I put them away, I can always go back to them, but I enjoy that I can do different medias, different techniques and create different things. And that's what we are, we're creators. I really do like colors, I like shapes, I like perspective and portraiture. And I, I've always kind of thought about what I do, but basically it's a, um, a realistic abstraction is what I've come up with. Yeah. Wow, I am doing this just with white and black. That's pretty, that's not big. I don't know, I don't see the color yet. I, I know something's gonna hit me and I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. This series that I'm working on is Cardboard Portraits and uh, Cardboard came to me with uh, my Painting One classes and I had a Parapro uh, teacher that worked with us and um, I was always, I'm always talking with the students about surfaces and different types of surfaces and what you can use and she, uh, she said, oh, my husband uh, has these large cardboard and I was kind of like, cardboard, that's it's not a great surface or me, you know, it does, it curves on you, it's not great, it's, the texture is really, um, uh, difficult to work with and she's like well it's real thick let's I'll bring in a couple and she brought them in and I loved it they were double ply or three ply they were thick and it, it worked and so a couple students did a couple of paintings with them and she, she brought in more and now they're sitting there and then the cardboard allowed a large surface to do large portraits and I found it a way to do artists art, uh, famous artists for my students I could do um, Picasso, I could do these um, Van Gogh, I could do George O'Keefe and, and help them with art history. And then while I'm doing those, I could do celebrities and, and kind of like when celebrities are say dying and, and, and people are doing celebrity art, that kind of hit with me too. Uh, the first one for me was uh, Game of Thrones was coming back on and uh, I did Tyrion. And so that was my first one. And so then I did a celebrity, then I did the art, um, an artist. And I think I did Picasso. And then um, Prince died. And so all within a, like the same week. And then I did Prince. And um, so I've got these large portraits. I'm able to do them during class time. I'm finishing them in a day or two. Um, and I'm using my bright colors. And I'm utilizing the texture of the cardboard. And so with my experience, I felt that I, I, I knew how I could make the texture work without being too gaudy or such, and so I kind of utilize the cardboard. I cut it out, and then it kind of gives me a chance to see it a little better of what I want to do. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> there we go. Luckily, my parents were very supportive. And uh, I, I mean, there was the eye raise, there was the okay, but I think I had set the tone and I think if you prove to your parents that you're dedicated and you've put in the time that you can do whatever you choose to do and, and so they were very supportive. And then from there you, you meet other professors, other teachers. I'm here um, probably because of a student teacher in high school. You know, the, the, uh, my high school art teacher was on the later stages and was missing a lot of school and they had an interim sub and he was a young teacher. and. You know, besides my brother showing me, you know, that it's interesting, then you have your mentors and your, your people that really can guide you. And like, wow, I can do it. And then once you have those skills, then it's kind of like, how do I teach or how do I go into a career? I guess that's, that's where that's at. But it's, it's always going to be somebody that'll spark it and motivate you. But you always need support. And I'm thankful that my parents supported me.
Art is not genetic. It, they, people get so caught up that it's a talent. And it's like any other class. You can learn it. So with art, we can learn skills. Anybody can learn basic fundamental art skills. If you're interested in it, and if you like it, then there's an opportunity to be more engaged, take more courses and get better at it and improve. Um, and that's what we're trying to help kids understand is it isn't a, a predisposition. It's not a predisposition that you already are an artist or not. And it's not my parents can't draw, so I probably can't draw or paint or, or whatever. But we want kids to know that they can learn these skills and from there they can take off with them any direction they want and hopefully develop their own style. But there's just something in our society that they literally are saying, I can't do it. And that's not true. So take the courses, take art, and man, we need it bad. We're seeing such a breakdown. And this is, you know, this, you probably know about this, that the arts tend to get cut and things like that. And, you know, we have less teachers in our school district. Um, and we're seeing the students not have that background information as they get to us here at the high school level. And it's definitely needed. And the kids want it. You're not going to find an elementary student who doesn't want to take an art class and stuff. So I hope it comes back. I hope every student takes as many art classes as possible. And I hope it grows again.